Hello friends this is Chandrakant and I welcome you all to Naval Bunt Live. Let me also invite my friend from UK Mr Naval Bunt. Good morning CK. Good morning everybody. We've got an interesting subject for you today. We're going to be short on this subject, but it's about grandparents. You know, aging population. The UK's got it, India's got it, all the world's got it. Um and we're talking about the well-being of these people, the mental issues that lots of old people are suffering around the world today and we've got a few solutions that you could try and it doesn't cost you any money to try it either you know we're not going to sell you an online program we're not going to say download this and buy this from amazon we're going to just give you some simple examples that actually will increase the well-being not just of elderly people but also of all age groups How's that? What do you reckon to that, CK? Well, I think it's a very important subject, and uh, you know, with COVID and lockdown situation, uh, some of these issues are uh, aggravated within the family. And I must tell you about India. Uh, you know, in India, we are mostly living about sixty to seventy percent household are joint families, which is uh, the grandparents and grandchildren. are staying with the current generation so uh, you know the parents live all their life with their kids and grandchildren in one household that is the norm here uh, whether you are christians or a muslim or a hindu everyone lives in the same manner that is a tradition and uh, i know for sure that you know as people age sometimes they get very uh, sort of hardliner and those issues uh, are normally uh, considered as part of normal aging and sort of ignored and i'm sure you know these are all uh, issues which can be corrected by a simple visit to psychiatrist but usually uh, it is considered a taboo in india people don't uh, want to take help from others so they tend to do their own things they have their own social circles and things like that that kind of life control all these phenomena but with covid now in uh, picture for last almost a year uh, everybody is stuck at home their social life is disrupted the children uh, school is disrupted our generation also because we are just uh, you know talking on the zoom platform like this one and the elderly is don't know how to use all these very effectively and they don't have their friend circle they they are not able to go to parks and talk to their friends and discuss few things so they are also losing out a uh, sort of an outlet and i'm sure it's a big problem uh, especially the mental health of elderly uh, probably you can uh, tell us few ideas how we can cope up with these issues well it is a huge problem and um as you say um covid it, i mean it's good that you've got a family integrated unit because i think that helps with all sorts of uh, i mean it's effectively you got babysitters on tap as we would call it in the uk um and and you know some families keep local so they've got that babysitting opportunity i mean grandparents or your parents have have got more uses than babysitters but when your children are very young parents need a break too so when the parents would like to go out even for a walk and they don't want to take the children with them then grandparents actually sit in and become the babysitter so this is nothing new it's not rocket science it's been done for years and years and years and years so let's just take a leaf out of our ancestors you know what did they do well covid has cooped us all up in the same environment so in the first instance i think what we need to be looking at is creating our own space having times of day where you've got your own space and you do your own thing so and that's the 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 children typically are going to be online they're going to be doing their schooling so the grandparents actually rather than helping them with the schooling perhaps leave that to the parents and the grandparents that's their downtime you know they can sit in front of the tv they can snooze they can read a book do the crossword and just you know chat amongst themselves you know have that adult time so i think this is important to recognize we need to be a little bit disciplined 
about what we do, especially when we're cooped up together and there's no outlet. We need to create those outlets. The second thing is, I remember as a kid playing cards with my mum. And we would, after, after dinner, or as we called it, tea, um, after about five o'clock, we'd all do the washing up and then we'd sit around the table and we've already done our homework because we've been home from school. Uh, we'd sit around the table, we'd play cards. I remember playing a game called Newmarket, which had four cards on the table and you just literally played cards. And it was great fun. We cheated like everybody else. We laughed like everybody else. My mum laughed. And when, on an odd occasion, one of my grandparents was staying with us because they lived like 400 miles away, then my, my nan would laugh too. And she'd be one of the best at cheating, okay? She'd be teaching us cheats we'd never even thought of. And it's fine because cheating's part of the game, you know? It's having a little bit of fun. There's nothing wrong with it. That worked for us. It could work for you. And I know, CK, it actually works for you because you started to play cards with the kids and your parents. So just lead people through what happens when you play cards. Yes. In fact, uh, uh, we had this issue where we were not able to find time to communicate with each other because uh, to handle these issues, I think communication is the key where if you are able to provide that platform for everyone to, you know, talk and discuss, then they will not have these issues, you know, the solitary issue, even though they are living in one family, family unit. So we, we thought that after dinner, we will play cards and that will give us a family bonding time uh, every night, every day after dinner. So, you know, we started it. It is actually very interesting. Everybody is laughing on the table. Uh, every hand that we play, there is, uh, you know, kids are very smart, smartest of the cheats on the table. They learn very fast, uh, you know, so those kind of things are happening. Every hand we are laughing as a family. And we do know that laughter, you know, is a good mental health medicine. You know, it's the cheapest medicine out. And the nice thing is when everyone joins in, you can't stop the laughter. And I bet there are occasions in your family where you laugh for absolutely no reason whatsoever and, it, and everyone laughs. And then, but you never say, what were we laughing about? You just get on with it and you, you enjoy the next laugh. You are your own set of comedians, really. And you can, anyone can do this. It doesn't cost anything to do. And you could do it. You don't have to play cards. You could do a crossword. You could create a crossword. So here's, here's some opportunity to get the kids to be creative. Get them to make the crossword and challenge the grandparents, you know, to, to finish it. It will take the children longer to do the crossword than it will do the adults to finish it, hopefully, as long as, as, long as the dictionary has been used and they've, they've used proper words. But again, you can have fun with that. You know, Scrabble is an absolutely brilliant game. And again, what the children are learning, you know, they're learning new words. They're learning to be team players. They're learning to be engaging. They're learning to listen, to have fun. And those are some characteristics that we, we sadly lack, actually, in the workplace. So there are so, much, there's so many things you could get a hold of. And there's another one is where a lot of old people do miss their old friends. They can't go to the coffee shop, you know, and, and meet, you know, their friends on a regular basis. But the likelihood is that their friends do have access to the Internet. They do have a workstation. They do have a tablet. They might even have an iPhone. The likelihood is they will have a smartphone. I can tell you now that there's some, there's some uh, TV programs that have been run in the UK over the last five or six years where young kids go into care homes and they're teaching very old people how to use Skype, FaceTime, Zoom, all the technology. And they get hold of it and they go, well, you just do this, this and this. This is how I talk to my dad. You know, you can talk to your friend. 
And the kids are so demonstrative and simple and patient as well, you know. Because an old person might think, oh, well, I don't really want to do that. You know, I'm, I'm scared. I'm, uh, I'm not too sure about this technology. And the kids will say, well, look, this is all you do. Bish, bash, bosh, and off you go. And the nice thing is that if those grandparents have got other grandparents' friends at a distance, they're going to be grandparents of other kids. So all of a sudden, the other kids can be involved too. And they can have a little bit of fun. I don't know if you, CK, have ever tried to play Scrabble, you know, with your kids play Scrabble with their friends, you know, in other houses. I mean, even next door. I mean, you can do this from room to room, actually, if you've got enough tablets. And it's hilarious. It's even more fun because you hear the, you hear the next door laughing their head off and you think, well, what are they laughing at? And you suddenly realise you spelt it wrong, you know? And then you start to laugh as well. You know, another game is battleships. I don't know if you've, I mean, I used to play battleships a lot, a lot when I was a kid. You can play battleships from a distance. There are so many games that you can play and have some fun from a distance. But bring yourself together. So I hope these are just a few ideas to, the, today to help people along because... Mental health of everybody, not just old, elderly people, but of everybody is absolutely critical, not just in this COVID time, but all times. You know, we all need to know we can pick up the phone to a friend because we never know when we're going to need them. Well, uh, nowadays there are a lot of games uh, on Facebook, especially. The battle, uh, the battle game is... Uh, it's fantastic. I, I don't know whether you uh, got to see the latest version of the battle uh, game. No, I didn't even know it was on Facebook. But you know, I, I would play battleships on a piece of paper. You know, I'd draw a grid and, you know, right. we put, you know, one square for a submarine, two for a destroyer, three for a battleship, and four for an aircraft carrier. I can even do it, remember it now. Um, so, and, and it's harmless fun. You know, nobody gets injured. You know, all you're doing is picking a square. It's it, it's incredibly funny. Right. So now it has gone beyond uh, from squares and you can pick uh, Yamato, you can pick uh, Mississippi, you can take, uh, you know, Prince of Wales and... Uh, <laughs> the digital age, CK. I must, right. I must go online and have a look at it. You know? Right. And you can check their statistics, you know, how fast they go. Um, what is the thickness of their app? Oh, what blimey, land? that's a bit too much information. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the Scrabble is also online. Uh, thousands of people will be playing at any time. Uh, but I think above all, uh, if I take my parents, we have this uh, speaker uh, remote and they are very comfortable pressing the numbers. And those are the things which are not available now. So they feel very uncomfortable talking about the channel, what program they want to see. Because now you have to speak in the remote instead of pressing that number. So I think, uh, uh, but you mentioned correctly, you know, the kids are very smart and they are the people who are teaching them how to do things. It's not we, uh, the kids are teaching them how to press, uh, how to go to this website, how to download this music, how to do things. So they are very uh, cohesive team. And uh, above all, the communication is the key here because if you leave them alone, there, co there could be some unfortunate people where the communication can, can become an issue and that will lead to serious problems. So I think uh, the people who are looking after the elderly in their homes, they should communicate with uh, these people to make sure that the mental health is taken care. Some of these issues can be handled very easily by uh, simple communication. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And you know, hopefully we've given people a few insights today as what they can do. There, there is always a downside. There always is, you know, there are always people that are preying on young people and they prey on old people too. You know, the number of people that, you know, release funds because they think someone's being honest with them on the phone. But we only learn through communication. And as I say, the best, the best way actually is to engage grandparents and grandchildren. But give a bit of space. You know, in these COVID times, everyone's cooped up in the same place. Give yourself a little bit of space. Have a little bit of discipline because that's what you need. Because if it's 24-7, 
that is mental anguish. You know, not every grandparent can handle their grandchildren 24 seven. Um, I'm looking forward to being a grandparent, but I'm also looking forward to giving them back <laughs> because I do know that I will be definitely needing my space. And that's not being nasty. It's just being realistic. You know, um, at the end of the day, we need to recognize and be respectful that we all need a little bit of our own space. But it's a fascinating subject. We can do so much for mental health without going to see a psychiatrist, without going to see a, do a doctor. Those are the, in, in serious cases, yes, you should go there. You know, it's a bit like if you break your leg, you know, don't strap it together and think it's going to be okay. You need to go to the hospital to get your leg fixed. But there's a lot of mental health, a little bit of anxiousness, a little bit of um, oh, being overwhelmed, <clears throat> getting angry from, a, you know, antsy from time to time. These are things that we can deal with on, a, on an ongoing basis. And grandchildren love their grandparents. And I'm sure it's the same the other way around. So we can do an awful lot for the mental health of the country. I think uh, some of the ideas that you mentioned are uh, very relevant, uh, very important, especially uh, in the COVID era. And I'm sure viewers who are watching this will follow some of these guidelines. So thank you very much. Uh, Naval for finding time and discussing this very important subject which is affecting the world. We will catch up again on something interesting again in Naval Gunt Live very soon. We will do. Have fun CK. Have fun everybody. Good mental health. Thank you Naval. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.